If you spend time on the internet, you'll likely have accumulated what are known as digital assets. And like any other type of asset, someday you'll need to think about how to pass those assets onto your friends and family. For many digital assets, the traditional tools of estate planning like wills and trusts will be able to meet your needs. But the massive growth of digital assets in recent years and some of their special properties means it is important to keep a few extra things in mind. Where it forms the world's largest online database of fillable legal forms. In this video, we'll address what digital assets are, estate planning steps you can take to ensure that they are passed on, and what to watch out for with new types of digital assets like cryptocurrency and NFTs. Be sure to watch to the end of this video for a link that will help you create a will customized to your situation and the rules of the state where you live. What are digital assets? A digital asset is anything of value that is not tangible and is recorded electronically rather than on paper. This broad definition can encompass many things that many of us touch on on our daily lives. Photos stored in an iPhone, a blog maintained as a hobby, even a personal email account. The rise of digital assets has increasingly prompted states to treat them like other kinds of assets when it comes to estate planning. In almost every part of the country, an estate's designated personal representative, the executor of a will, or the trustee of a trust, will have the ability to manage these assets and the technology companies that serve as their custodians are empowered to deal with this in person. But these companies are still obligated to follow privacy laws and may not grant the ability to access an asset just because a will or trust says you've inherited it. That makes it essential to follow a few steps for all kinds of digital assets. One, make a list. Write down every digital asset you can think of, include a description where it can be found, and perhaps most importantly, the password needed to access the asset. It may be a good idea to use a password manager such as LastPass or 1Password. Two, verify access. This means making sure the people whom you would like to inherit from you are able to access the materials. Check the files you would like to share are kept on some kind of secure network or cloud computing service, rather than confined to an unconnected device or hard drive. And some assets may have different requirements depending on the device being used, such as two-factor identification. It's a good idea to make sure that the person you want to share the assets with is able to access them on a personal device. Three, record the transfer. Wills and trusts, the most common documents for transferring the assets of a person who has passed on, can be used for digital assets. One thing to keep in mind during the asset planning process, wills are generally publicly accessible documents and if your filings include a listing of passwords to digital accounts, those would be publicly accessible. So it may be advisable to consider either pursuing a trust or to consider including this material separately. Now, one type of digital asset that can be especially complicated to deal with is email and social media. Sometimes these assets can be part of someone's legacy. For example, with a blog run as a hobby, someone may want it to continue after their death and use the estate planning process to have a friend or family member maintain it. At other times, such as a personal email account, the owner of the estate may want a digital asset to cease to operate with his or her death. Both of these options are possible with careful estate planning, but the details of the process will be dependent on the asset itself. Unfortunately, technology companies that handle these assets, often called custodians, have their own policies about how to treat the accounts of people who have died. For example, two of the largest, Google and Facebook, have quite different policies. Check out our blog post on this topic for ways that you can make your preferences known. With some kinds of assets, even if your preferences for a digital asset are made clear, they may not be possible to enact. This most commonly occurs with certain kinds of digital media like music, films, and books. Digital entertainment products come with terms of service that often restrict the ways an asset may be shared or the number of people who can use it, which is unlikely that an individual will or trust would violate these terms. If the asset is especially valuable, it is advisable to consult the terms. Despite their differences from tangible assets, social media accounts, blogs, and photo libraries are actually the more straightforward kinds of digital assets to deal with in the context of estate planning. A relatively new class of digital investments, often called blockchain assets, are rapidly becoming popular investments but carry much more uncertainty. You've probably heard about blockchain in the news. The exact workings can be a bit tricky to understand, but it is essentially a way of using computer coding to verify the legitimacy of someone's claim to a particular digital asset. Asset. This is important because it has allowed a whole sector of online payments and trades to grow rapidly without the involvement of banks or government authority. 
Blockchain technology is rooted in Bitcoin, the most well-known cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies are digital mediums of storing, measuring, and transferring wealth. Unlike traditional currencies that can be minted or printed by a national government, the value of a cryptocurrency is determined solely by its demand and availability. Although it is becoming more common for businesses to accept cryptocurrencies as payments for goods and services, this is still relatively rare, and it is more likely for people to hold them for long periods of time like a stock. For a growing number of people, cryptocurrencies form part of the estate they plan to pass on to friends and families. Cryptocurrencies are example one for the importance of organizing and maintaining passwords. Over the last decade, stories have emerged of people missing out on hundreds of millions of dollars in cryptocurrency because they lack the necessary password or digital key. Some online exchanges offer crypto wallet services that make it easier to ensure that heirs or beneficiaries can access these assets. The other kind of blockchain asset you've most likely heard of in the news is the NFT. Unlike cryptocurrencies, which are interchangeable, NFTs are represented by a unique image, video, or other representation. Popular NFTs have been made from works of art and clips or athletic performance. Like cryptocurrencies, NFTs are relatively new investments that have surged in value over the past year, and they contain even more uncertainty. For purposes of estate planning, it's unclear how the government will regulate them in the coming years. Will buying an NFT be treated more like buying a painting or like buying a stock? The answer has potentially significant implications for taxes and the kind of information that heirs or beneficiaries would need to report to the government. Although the world of digital assets is rapidly evolving, traditional estate planning tools like a will remain essential to the process. Click the link below to get started with creating a personalized will for your needs. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on legal topics that you can use in your daily life.